topic, we talk about good ideas, okay? And uh, for those who already have your ideas, I want, and, and last week what we did is that we talk about, uh, you know, adding a dot com behind the idea. Banana Rela dot com, right? Okay? So, so, we want to take this on as a block. Okay? So instead of a dot com, the reason is very simple. Dot com, you have to register, you still have to pay. Now, blog is a very simple way for you to get online. Right? There's a lot of free blog sites for you to register and have your own blog. Now, what I want you to do is to take these ideas that you already have, evolve it, right, and create a blog of it. So it's not the same as your personal blog, but it's almost like a blog that advocates the idea. Now, the other thing I want you to do is that start to utilize your, your major. That means if you are a product designer, right, think of how to use your strength in product design to strengthen your blog. Okay. I met her uh, during my shoot in uh, Beijing, okay? She's an American who can speak perfect Mandarin, okay? He stayed in Beijing for seven years, okay? And what she does is she uh, performs, she is an actress for TV drama, um, she does TV commercial, she does uh, event hosting, all in Mandarin. And then what she does is, she basically sells her service using the blog. Okay, this is uh, another person I met uh, previously. She's a comic artist based in Beijing. Uh, she basically show all her previous comic work that has been published in magazine before. So what she's essentially doing is to publicize her, herself, her ability through her blog. So you can actually read her comics on the blog. And uh, she would market her, her, her books. Okay? Now she would oftentimes talk about herself, like what type of books she likes to read, for you to understand her. Now the reason why I'm showing you this is, uh, a blog site is actually a very interesting place for uh, people, let's say like me, who wants to hire people, okay? Now these days when uh, me and my peers, when we start to look for people to hire, we will ask, uh, does this person have a blog? So what we'll do is we'll actually go into their blog and see what this person does besides work. This is for us to assess this person's uh, interest, uh, uh, you know, what other things do they do? <coughs> because it, it does make a difference. Because when we hire a person, it's not just about this person's ability to work in the office. Okay? So we look at the person's, what we call the ECA. That means outside of work, what do they see? That's their personal interest. Which is why I'm asking you to do this. Because what I'm asking you to, to do the blog is, uh, for the rest of the eight weeks, we will slowly build the right type of content and resume for you. Okay? So that uh, when you're done with this class, uh, I hope that each one, each and every one of you have a blog site for people like myself and my peers to look at and say,